So many of us find ourselves at a certain point in life to where older family members have passed away and there's a property, a house to deal with. And oftentimes they want to get it cleared out, get it cleaned up, get it ready for the market, get it sold and move on with the family business. So I'm Joe Parker with the Santa Barbara Group Berkshire Hathaway Real Estate and we've assembled a team, like the saying goes, there's no I in team. We've assembled a team to help us with selling properties that are in this situation. I recently was called by somebody whose mother had passed away and he was in town. I was able to show him how our team could help him through the whole process from beginning to end and net him the highest possible price. We were able to work with various vendors that we've worked with many, many times, people that do um, appraisals of fine art. They can also get those things sold. Um, they also do packing and shipping around the country. There was various family members who wanted stuff. And so we were able to organize that and get it shipped off. We have great contractors and tradespeople to spruce up a home and guide them on the best bang for their buck as far as getting it ready for sale. We also have designers that we consult to help coordinate with the latest and greatest in looks for finishes, colors, um, fixtures, hardware, all these little things that we could do to really make it pop. And also with the staging to get it ready for the marketing. And then our marketing plan takes it all the way through the finish line to where this particular family I'm going to talk to you about or show you is um, so happy because they netted $535,000 over the asking price when it was all said and done. And we were able to get everybody all the items they wanted and make the house just really pop and shine through the help of our team. And I'm gonna show you how we can do that process for you too if you find yourself in a situation where you have a property that needs to get sold. Trust sale or not a trust sale, our team could go to work for you and make it simple. So check this out. So I'm out front at our listing at 1155 Harbor Hills Drive on the Mesa in Santa Barbara. It's about to close escrow. And as you can see, we've got our cleaning crew here getting it polished out, really dialed in so it shines and it's ready for the new buyers. This listing was a trust sale. It was owned by a woman who unfortunately passed away, had been living in there for decades. And there was a lot of our team members that we had to call on in order to get it sold. I'm gonna take you through that process and what exactly happened here. So when I first saw this home, everything was pretty dated, minus the beautiful new windows and a great new roof. So that's a good start. But the interior was full of personal items. Um, a lovely woman who lived here for many decades had a lot of antiques, a lot of art, and just a lot of stuff as we accumulate over years and years and years and decades of living in a home. So where to start? What I did first was I called on my estate sales person who is able to identify things of value like art and antiques, provide them with estimated values, and also provide them with a service to get it sold, potentially at an auction or whatever, if they wanted to get it sold. So we went through and identified everything of value and worked with the estate sales appraisal person on that end of things. And then from there, we had to hire some people to help us with a plan for the design. Once we got the place cleared out, we were gonna do a remodel on it and we wanted to optimize the money spent for return. So we had to identify which items of the home were gonna stay as is and which items of the home we were gonna go ahead and remodel. So that started the process of planning the design. But before we could even get into that, we needed to clear out the house and so, with the help of the owners, um, a few movers, and the estate planner, we organized all the stuff inside that was gonna be shipped to various siblings around the country who wanted some of the family artifacts were, that were in the home. So once that was all organized, I called on my mover to move it over to our shipping company. The shipping company sent three shipments out and we cleared out the house. So then after that, the contractor, and the designer and I worked together to come up with what was gonna be done inside the house. And that process started. So a remodel of the flooring, the paint, the light fixtures, and a deep cleaning. Um, oh, and landscape, check this out. Nice, simple, clean, drought tolerant landscape was put in and this goes around the house. So those were some of the things that were done to get it ready 
for the market. And they were strategically chosen to provide the most bang for the dollars invested. All right, so let's go ahead and run inside real quick and take a look at what the end result was. All right, check it out. I'm gonna come in here and just give you a little idea of what we ended up with. It wasn't a full remodel, right? But we did get it nice and clean. It already had great volume. You can see behind me here, beautiful high ceilings. Um, had some interesting characters, some mid-century vibes coming in on this one. So the flooring was replaced. As you can see, as I point down like that. So that's nice, neutral. Um, it's a, uh, a wood looking flooring, it's a vinyl, um, and it's in a nice neutral gray. We got the walls, the ceiling, everything painted. Sometimes you don't know if you wanna do the ceilings. Um, I say it's usually always worth it. It really makes the place pop when the ceilings and walls are all painted. So we went ahead and got all that done, got the beams done. Inside the cabinets here in the kitchen, we're all painted, we got new hardware. So that was a nice, easy way to give the kitchen a little bit of an update, um, but without doing a full kitchen remodel. What else did we do in here? Um, did some work on the fireplace. I'll show you that later. But in general, I think those are the main things. And there were decisions made, like in the bathrooms, to leave some items and replace others. Things that got replaced, Look at that, the mirrors and the light fixtures. Totally transformed this bathroom, which otherwise was pretty dated, and it even had a phone by the toilet. <laughs> we kept that. Um, as you can see in this other bathroom over here, there's some wallpaper in there. We ended up leaving that because wallpaper is tricky to deal with. Um, everything else, you know, just paint and uh, cleaning was the main thing to get this place ready. And then the designers who helped us pick all this stuff staged it. And that was the kind of the final touches before we started shooting all the marketing. And so they came in with uh, beautiful furniture for inside. They also put some furniture out on the balcony out here, which I'll take you out to. And made it really um, show up like a place that someone would wanna live in, right? So it, it really put it to that next level as far as um, identifying the spaces of the home, showing how it looks with furniture, showing how the different spaces live, which was really important on this patio because we have a few different locations on this patio, like a covered dining section, a sitting section, um, another lounge section that maybe you'd have a little fireplace or something. So uh, it was a great way to kind of identify the spaces. So that is the way that we got this home ready for market. Now. Next phase is the marketing. And uh, what I did there was chose a plan to get all the inspections done up front, which I organized a home inspection, a pest inspection, and a sewer lateral inspection. The reason we did this is to promote a contingency free offer. If we could provide them with the reports up front and we know it's gonna be competitive, that there'll be some buyers out there who are satisfied with the information we provided them and release their contingencies before their offer was made, which is definitely what happened. As far as the marketing went, we got the floor plan done. We put in the 3D walkthrough so that people on their computer could have a, a good experience of, of walking through the home. I did a video, you could see that posted on my YouTube, um, a really nice creative video using drone photography and professional editing so that it really showcased not only the house, but the neighborhood, the location, the Mesa. What happens in the Mesa? Why is this community awesome to live in? So. Once that video was done, I also had my photographer come through and get all the stills done. I also designed a website for it so that it was a one-stop shop for consumers to get in there, watch the video, see all the stats about the property, go through the floor plan, walk through it again. Maybe they came in an open house, they had an opportunity to walk through it again on the 3D tour. So that marketing package was completed and then we launched, which included open houses, broker tour, print advertising, online advertising, and video uh, disbursement out through the, the platforms. The number one thing we like to focus on is online content for our listings, and that's why the videos are so important. To do them well and to get them out in front of people so that they could really experience it, and it's, it's kind of that um, initial little hook that then takes them down the path into all the other information we lay out for them in the marketing plan. All right, so once we launched, we had a offer review date, which ended up producing five offers. And in this market, that's pretty standard. So, you know, 
I think we could expect that to happen when you do things the right way. And uh, it ended up going for over $500,000 over asking price. So we'll be closing um, probably by the time you watch this video, but that will give you an idea of what our team looks like, what we're capable of as far as working with you um, at any phase of the sales process. This started months and months and months ago, um, and we're just about to come to fruition. Um, but what started as an estate sale with a family that spread out around the country, right, um, turned into everyone getting the items they needed, no one really having to come out here, and me handling all the logistics of that whole project, which was really awesome for this family. So that's my story. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you have any questions about how I could help you with your real estate needs, I am always available and I love meeting new people, so please give me a call.